Hey guys, Atticus James here with GearsOfGuns.com and today we are looking at the M&P 45 Shield. This is with thumb safety. I'm very excited about this. It does come with two rounds. One in a seven round, which is this one. And we do have a smaller six round. This is a 45 ACP. So, let's see what kind of kick we have with it. We're gonna do a comparison between the uh, Glock 30 and the MMP Shield 45 right here. First, I want to show you guys the difference in loading these magazines. Glock one's pretty easy; I can do it by hand, really easy. And here's the problem that we encountered with this one. First one slides in really easy, but it's like the rounds are getting cockeyed or something. There you go; it even got stuck right there to the point where I can't load it. Yeah, that one's completely stuck now. Thank you. There we go. So anyways, we're having to push it down with the speed loader here. And even at that, you gotta really jam it down to get it to go. So that's the main problem that we found so far with the uh, M&P 45. Don't know if you can see this, but these bullets actually jam up. We're going to try and push them down. We don't know if it's an issue with just the steel case or if it's all 45. But loading these by hand gets to be nearly impossible. Okay. Twist it up again. So that's four. Might be able to get five. <clears throat> there. Five. Now, I know that if you're just using this as a concealed carry like it was designed, you're not really loading these too much. But Part of concealed carry is you do have to train with the weapon you're going to use. And so, if I have to come out to the range maybe once a week and struggle just to load the magazine, that's not worth it. I don't know, once again, if this is just steel cased or if brass does the same thing. We'll test that in a moment and find out. There you go. Alrighty guys, we're going to go ahead and try to load up some brass ammo, see if it's a little bit easier. It looks like it's already sliding in a lot easier. So it must have been the uh, steel case ammo that we were using. Which is... Monarch. It's a Monarch. And I'm going to go ahead and take a guess that pretty much any brass ammo is going to work. Anyways, Matthew with GearsAgains.com. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Matthew with GearsAgains.com. Today we have the M&P Shield 45. Uh, both six-round capacity magazines. One's got the extended uh, polyurethane stuff on here, so you can have a better grip, which I prefer. Uh, first thing that I did notice when loading this, and I've shot the M&P uh, Shield series. They're nine and they're 40, and these magazines are hell to load. I don't know what the deal is or why they're like that, but we'll show you a video of that here in a minute. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot both of these mags real quick.
Alrighty guys, our other camera just died. Or uh, the memory card was full actually, sorry. But uh, as I was saying, uh, part of the problem whenever I was shooting the shield was it seemed like the gun kept wanting to kind of go left or right, just, just as a hair, just because of how thin it is whenever I'd shoot it, it kind of kick back and forth. Versus with the uh, Glock 30 here, it, it, it seemed like it stayed a little bit better. But uh, I just want to do a quick show of the difference and how thick they are to give you an idea. This one's going to be way easier to conceal carry, but this one was a little bit more easy to control whenever on target. But uh, overall, I do like the uh, MMP Shield series. I like the 9, I like the 40, and I like the 45. But I also like the Glock a lot. It just depends on what you're looking for. And uh, for me, this being that thin is very, very easy to conceal, and that's something that's a big plus to me. Anyways, I'm Matthew with GearsAgunz.com, and thank you.